Hello, and welcome to our Let's Play of Star Wars, the prequel. We need a strike for copyright. I don't know if this is going to strike us even more, but still. It's going to Mario strike us. We got good foreshadowing. Also, his antenna is going through the capsule, and he died. Well... Fun game, everyone. Uh, it, 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 was a, it was a pretty good game. Um, I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank the Academy for not making this game. Not making this game longer than a minute. <laughs> it is pretty short. I'll give you that. Oh, so those are pieces, like the ship parts flying in. Yeah. Or is that just like, like the whole? Right? I'm pretty sure this whole game's about ship parts. A little bit. It's <laughs> almost like uh. There's a little theme going on. Almost a little bit. He's busy. He's got the confusion status. Long series. Uh, when, get... when have we ever talked about the series that we're playing in our videos? My name is Captain Olimar. Captain Olimar, while traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet with so many parts lost. The skeletal hole of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. My and emulator I, doesn't work. <laughs> to make matters worse, my atmospheric sen sensors indicate the planet's environment contains high levels of poison and oxygen. My life support system can't function for only 30 days! If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no! I must not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts! All right, so I guess that's a little bit of an explanation. Uh, 30 days in-game, that's your uh, limit. Um, this first day is going to be really low-key. Um, not really going to be doing a lot of anything. That's why I'm playing it, because I have never played the Wii version of this game. Mm -hmm. I've only played GameCube. Well, the Wii version, oh, I think, is, 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 is pretty good. Yeah, these I mean, for yeah. that. You could press right on the Any game. You could press right on the D-pad to zoom out the camera. I think. I don't think it lets you in the first day. Oh well. Well, let's go up to this black thing. Oh, it's red. And it has a flower. Wow, let's just talk about sustainable agriculture. <laughs> what if this is the, the the future of agriculture? We just have like tiny ships that give us our food. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared to me. <laughs> when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. And then it dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call it an onion, too. Wow. Original. Time to kill plants. Gosh, we're going to get demonetized for violence. <laughs> Oh, hey. Man, I can see. Push! Push, I can see the engine over there. Push! Olimar apparently doesn't have the might of ten. Push! Oh. Or even the might of one. Look <laughs> at these things. Whatever they are, trying to be... A little red, um, 
carrot looking thing. The seed that the onion dropped took, a cult, took root in the soil and now has produced an important little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without the benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A! A what? Meat. I picked them. They have a very flexible neck. Extraordinary. When I pluck the sprout, it turns out to be a living creature. Oh, a living creature, not a plant. It's picking and has done no visible damage. It just stands there staring at me. Its shape is similar to, a, to the pick pick bread carrot I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Well, that's a little more original. I mean, he's an alien. They don't know how to name things. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it with A, then throw it in the direction I point, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm. Perhaps it will react to C, that's not on the email, as well as pressing down on the D-pad while pointing as well. The following controls appear to run in several viewpoints. Z, rotate camera, left and right, yeah, yeah, toward the best with the camera. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it says in the GameCube version instead of, like, I need to point. Uh, I think it's the same thing. But it tells you, like, you can move the cursor with the C-stick. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, first day. Kind of boring. Mm -hmm. I apologize. So, we're just gonna grab... This bottle cap looking it thing. It like a bottle cap. It's apparently filled with nutrients of the dead. Yeah, pretty nice. So, what what would you say, what sort of kingdom do you think Pikmin would be classified in? Because mm, they're like animal, but they've got like a leaf. Animal. They don't really, they don't really eat, but what do they eat? They eat nutrients. Also, bullboards, if that one six inch short is any indication. Jeez. <laughs> Astonishing, the onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet and the pigmen harvested after cutting down a flower appear to be some type of food that can propagate more pigmen. The onion seems to be sort of an incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. What do you think about pigmen being a fungus? A fungus? Yeah. Uh, nah, it's far-fetched. I, I don't think it is. And that's funny because far-fetched is a bird. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> that's all you have to say, Mr. Mr. Magic Man. <laughs> Mr. Magic Man. Jeez, is that, is that the first meme of the channel? Um, it's not like something we originated from this. Well. It originated from actually good content. <laughs> oh, thank you, Plant, for blocking the screen. Yeah, the camera, I will, and for Pikmin 1, I will so, say, I would read his bottle for GameCube, or only oh. me in this case, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I will say the camera, for Pikmin 1 in particular, I don't really Get like up. it. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, this is the worst thing about this game is tripping. Yeah. Uh, these Pikmin, because they're not as matured, and w you'll know what we mean later, um, they they, they like to trip actually. a lot. Even when they're mature, they still trip a lot. Mm. So well, you know how the Wii era was with uh, tripping. Thanks, bro. They just gonna stare. Just wait, you got things to do. Mm -hmm. So, but as yeah. you could probably tell based on what we've been doing with these bottle cap looking things called pellets. Uh, this game's a lot about it's taking a your game. Yeah, it's about taking your Pikmin 
and moving things. So like it's like business tycoon. Which, yeah, except you you get to be the uh, the, boss. the boss instead of the uh, worker. Is a slave. Essentially. What are you trying to say, Xavier? Is that, that the employees are the slaves to the corporate managers? <laughs> getting, I know, Art. Getting political. <laughs> political. That's not. I'd rather not. The Pikmin are curious. As children, they form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual such as myself. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin combat. And just like any good corporate manager, he's doing none of the work himself. <laughs> it's like also in that one Pikmin short. Oh man, those are great. They are great. I got them for free, actually. It's pretty nice. Was, yeah, we um, just skipped over a bunch of tutorials there, but yeah. you, you, who cares? It's more like Pikmin commanding, like you use the D-pad to move them around. You can also hold no that's camera. You can also hold. Yeah, you need a little. Is it? No, it's not it. What are you trying to do? So there's only an Easter egg. Um, I, I don't you know, think you can do that on the, at least not right now. I think you can. Hmm. Oh shoot, that's not it. That's also not it. Well, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out later. But it's it's really an Easter egg. It's kind of cute. Meanwhile, we found an engine. It looks a lot like um like a workout machine. <laughs> Doesn't it? What, what kind of workout machine, Xavier? Pump and iron. Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes by a stroke of pure luck. I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? I guess also, if, if we're going more informative for this, because Kirby is just us screwing around. Um, the, the reason the ship is named the dolphin is because the GameCube's codename is the dolphin. Oh, that's that's interesting. I I don't I don't think I knew that. Really? Yeah, no, that's you you taught me something new, Xavier. It's like one of the basic Pikmin facts actually, I think. Mm -hmm. I think well all Pikmin videos really You good. see we've got a, a Stonewall Jackson over there the, that we can't really do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the Union Army. <laughs> God. I can't follow that up with anything. <laughs> Don't know, Jackson. That, that's him. It's him, all right. Meanwhile, we got the one straggler. Mm -hmm. uh, as you, as, as, you oh. as you can notice, um, you can also just if you have one pick, you can just carry him with you a little faster. Yeah, uh, but as you as you notice, you see the one pellets and the five pellets. Uh, we have one person carrying the one pellet. You can get a maximum of two on there, and with the fives, you can get a maximum of, of ten. It's not always double, but oh, shoot. for pellets, yeah, it generally is. Telling us if you have a bunch of if you have a bunch of Pikmin underground, you can just mash A, and you'll pluck all of them once he gets to them. Mm. This, this basically becomes irrelevant in the sequel, which gives you a power up, which and it becomes wonders, I guess becomes it even becomes completely irrelevant, or it becomes even more irrelevant in the. The threequel. Oh yeah. <laughs> where where they let you just automate it, which yeah. is great. Just throw a cap on them. Yep. So uh, as 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 you saw with the engine, there's also uh, the max number of pips you can get to say is twenty five. Right. That's where I was going with this. You you only need twenty to carry back the engine, and uh, well, as you'll see, this is gonna basically end our day number one. Uh, but you can get a maximum of 25. If you yeah. put more Pikmin on... Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> if you if you put more Pikmin on a task to get them moving, um, yeah, we'll it'll, it'll go a little faster. There are other things you can do uh, to make things go a little faster, and again, we'll get we'll get into that. Uh, in a little trick to get more Pikmin is that you usually want things of the same color to go the same on them. Right, so like the red pellets for example, um, are, they're going to give you a little bonus for going to the Red Onion. Um, we'll go over what will happen if you get different colored things that go to in, that go to areas of not the same color. Meanwhile, our ship looks like... Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. 
Yeah. And that's hey, not just because it's on the way. Better. I always thought those things look like apple slices. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Oh, and it's magic. It's moving itself. That little light. Hey, it was on that. <laughs> Did you see how fast he walked Whoa, look, we got white pigmen now. They're lonely. They missed their captain. Mm. Oh, glorious, with the help of these pigmen, I am taking a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what, what has become of the remaining parts? That search. Starts tomorrow. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Well, with that... Jurassic voice changing. Day one is already over. You don't have to worry about losing any pick mm -hmm. This is the one day that we're not going to lose Pikmin. And it's also the one day in the game that is not timed. Mm -hmm. Which is the biggest... Right. The we'll biggest go over... This game. We'll go over that mechanic uh, next, day. Next, next day. Which is... We're probably just going to divide episodes by day because it makes things easier. Yeah, and with maybe it's already pretty short. So yeah, as you can see, thirty days. Uh, each day is going to be somewhere around fifteen or so minutes. So yeah. maximum day one mm -hmm. since impact. No. I somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the pigmen cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, the angel will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hunker's Gate. Analysis shows life support systems will fun function for only 29 more days. <laughs> How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? My dense forest is visible on the, on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. No. If you want to be stupid and go to the impact site again, there's really nothing for you to do. Mm -hmm. Well, you could plant more Pikmin. Ooh. Yeah, so as, after every... It's over here. <laughs> you know, um, that might be a speedrunning tactic. Maybe. Uh, and here it just shows us the basic stats. Right, it'll show your Pikmin population growth. Uh, it'll show you how many Pikmin have died, how many or have been left behind on the surface. Left behind is the worst sort of reason. Yeah, it'll show you doing nothing. Yeah, it'll show you days remaining, parts remaining. Of, of yeah, all of it. You can read that. Um, go ahead and save and hope to God this thing doesn't crash. Hopefully. And, and uh, that does it for this. Yep. And that also does it for me playing, because Luke is going to take the helm for the Force of Hopes. Yeah, how we're going to do it is every other day... Uh, we're flip flopping, well, so I yeah. get all the odd number days. He gets all the even number days. Mm -hmm. So someone might get screwed out of not being the final boss, but who cares? Yeah, well, that's just the nature of the beast. And uh, with that, I guess next episode you'll have me playing next the forest. More of the same game. Here we go.